Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw bodies of water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my paper. So I'm going to write bodies of water. Okay? Starting up here, on the right hand side I put two fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot, going towards the left, I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page. I come back up on the right hand side, right about here, and I put another dot. And now I'm going to mimic that line and draw a wavy, wavy line across on the left hand side. I come inside and I'm going to draw a curve line up, straight line in, straight line out, curve line down, curve straight line out, in, connect. Come up a little bit further, I'm going to draw a curve line out, straight line in, straight line out, curve line, straight line down, up, down, up, connect. And if you have room, you might want to put one more straight line up, I mean curve line up, straight line in, straight line out, curve line, straight line out, in, out, in, connect. Each one just put a dot. There you go. Now we're going to add some curve lines in between. Curve lines, curve lines, curve lines, curve lines. Now I come down on the right hand side, put a dot, and we're going to draw a pond. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a river. Hello. R I V E R. Down below my river, I'm going to draw a curve line, wavy line, curve line, wavy line. And this is a pond. P-O-N-D. If you have room, put one, two straight lines. And we're just going to put curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And if you have room, straight line, straight line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now inside my pond, which is a little body of water, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line out and up, big curve line over, connect, one, two curve lines. Put a dot, and there's my duck. So we've got river, we have pond, and now we're going to do a lake, L-A-K-E, which is a much bigger body of water. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the left, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the right, connect at the bottom and add a straight line. Right up here I'm going to put a zigzag, 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 connect and put a line. Now I'm going to draw the lake. I'm going to draw some curve lines some wavy lines, some curved lines, some wavy lines, connect. Down here I'm going to put a zigzag, 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 come back up the top, zigzag, 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 connect with a straight line. Now inside my lake, which is a bigger body of water, you can have a boat, so we're going to do a straight line, straight line, straight line, Come back to the left, connect with a straight line, straight line in the middle, curve line out, curve line in, connect. And if you have room, you can put a little curve line up, out, connect. Now inside my lake are some more fish. So I'm just going to draw a curve line, straight line out, straight line in, straight line out, straight line in, curve line, connect. I'm going to put three, if I can fit them, curve line, straight line out, straight line in, straight line out, in, connect, and one more at the bottom, curve line, straight line out, straight line in, straight line out, straight line in, curve line, connect, and we'll just put one, 
two, three dots, one, two, three curved lines. Okay, so that's my lake. Now, I'm going to come down on the left, and I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way over by that zigzag tree. And underneath, I'm now going to draw spirals. So I just draw curved lines inside. And these are going to be my waves because our last body of water is going to be the ocean. Now you connect, you can connect all these spirals, but if you want to just draw them, it's just a curved line all the way inside. Now down here, let's draw a big curved line out over. Straight line, straight line in, out, straight line connect. Put a big straight line, little curved line, and a dot. Then up at the top, we'll go straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line. Over here on the right hand side, let's draw a curve line. And then we go one, two, three, four, straight lines out on the right. One, two, three, four, straight lines connect on the left. Let's just put one curve line, two little dots. And if you have room, straight line up, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, connect for a starfish, maybe one, and over here. One, two, three, four, five, connect. So we have a river, we have a pond, we have a lake, and down here is the ocean. O C E A N. Those spirals will be our waves. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I did was go through my crayon box and find out find all of my colors of blues. But I'm going to make my fish yellow. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some green little one, two, three, one, two, three. These are just some little vegetation on my river. Then I'm going to come in lightly and do just a loop-de-loop -loop edge because rivers have their brown shorelines. So I'm just going to put a little bit of brown all across this section. Then to give it a little definition, my curve lines, I'm going to do blah, uh, dark blue, but then I'm going to go over everything with my blue-green. So that's my river. Now I come down to my pond, and I'm just going to make this all dark blue. I'm going to leave my duck alone, but I'm going to give him his little orange bill. And I'm going to do my popcorn trees. Just a brown and green. So there's my pond. Now my lake, I'm going to use dark green for my zigzag trees. I'm going to use yellow for my boat. You can change all these colors to whatever you want. These are just the ones I used. A little bit of red. I made my fish different colors. You can do red, pink. and green. And then for that body of water, I used my blue-green. So this is all turquoise blue, blue-green. That's for my lake. So we've got river, pond, lake. Now around my lake, it also has a shoreline. I'm going to take my brown and do a loop-de-loop -loop just around the edge. All the way around, keep going. And I might put a little brown for my tree trunks down at the bottom. And then we come to the ocean. And for my ocean, this section I'm going to put a lighter brown or a peach, or if you've got it, just to color this all in so it looks like the beach sand. And I'm going to skip over my waves, which are the spirals, and leave those white. I'm going to color in my ocean water 
blue and you can also do your octopus any color you want plus your sun your uh, starfish any color you want and you can even do your whale any color you want okay let's see what oh and one more thing if you want to you don't have to but I just lightly added some tan or light brown colors in between all of my bodies of water just so that it looked connected by color okay let's see what this looks like all colored in here are my bodies of water all colored in hope this helps okay bye bye